So in this new season, your character has gone on a serious journey, and <clears throat> can you talk a bit about uh, that, that her hero's journey? You said her hero's journey? Yeah. Yeah, I think she's um, definitely coming to her own and from up under her father's lead. I think she feels confident and she feels, um, she trusts herself. So she's still, you know, on that journey of finding justice by any means necessary. And her father doesn't always agree with that. She's, um, she's an adult now, she's mature. And I think that's what we'll see more of this season. Her coming into her own, literally. Okay. So, what has it been like for you to kind of explore the uh, intricate sides of this character and the vulnerabilities and everything? It's been really, really cool because you see a lot of her weaknesses, which one of them is her family. She also loves love and she wants she wants that, I think, more than anything. And I think we were able to see in season two her find that balance. In season one, it's like I want it, but my focus is, is finding out who I am and discovering myself as a superhero. In season two, she took her advice, she took her sister's advice from like living a little and finding love and making time for that. Um, obviously, you see she's running to some kids like with Grace ghosting her. Um, and I, she, she wants more than ever to figure it out with Grace, and she has a lot of, of questions that she needs answers. She's confused about a lot, so um, I think those vulnerabilities is what bring the, the the truth of who she is as a person. It's not just like she's living in this superhero world and she doesn't have any issues. She's going through real life issues with her family. She's going through real life love issues, and I think people are able to tune into that and relate. You know, everybody's got somebody ghosting them. Not everybody, but somebody. Mm -hmm. Has somebody ghosting them right now, and they're able to, you know, to tune into our show and relate to them. And you're you're the busiest of the superheroes on the show because you're pulling double duty. Do you see those as almost like separate characters? For yeah, you? they are. Um, you know, Blackbird is a lot more ruthless than what, than what Thunder is. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really care. Did you give that your own name? What? Blackbird. Blackbird? No, that's her name on the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's a little bit more ruthless. Uh, she doesn't let her father in on anything that she's doing when she's Blackbird. At least as Thunder, you know, she'll check in with, you know, her dad or her dad with her for the journey. But she's like really taking matters into her own hands and doing it by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see. Yeah, it's been very rewarding, especially hearing the responses from um, the LGBTQ community and how it's empowering them and how they are, you know, happy to see themselves in such a positive and loving light. There's always this negative side if we're talking or showing the story of a lesbian or a gay character, and I think our show has done a really great job uh, of giving love to it and normalizing it. And I think that's what people need to see. We all want to see ourselves. We all want to see characters who we can relate to and who are going through the same issues. And I think. You know, Thunder is that mirror for the community. And I'm, I'm, I love being an ally for the community. I love that I've been chosen to give voiceover to it because I truly feel like I'm walking in my purpose with this character. Okay. Are we going to see more of her pursuing her, her love, the love, her love life and finding out more about uh, her girlfriend that's got this big secret? The secret, yeah. I think she's, I think she's wanting to like talk to her and, and tell her about her secret. Like hopefully that they can be together. But first, the grace got to show up. I've been looking for her. I'm, about, I'm getting tired. I'm about this. <laughs> Left for her. She don't want to come around and give me a new lady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what am I working on? Now? So um, when we wrapped two weeks later, I did my first studio film with Sony. It's called Black and Blue, starring Naomi Harris, Tyrese, and Woo, congratulations, Oscar, Frank Grillo. Um, and that'll be out literally the same week as our third season premieres. So Black Lightning premieres October twenty first. <laughs> And my film with Sony, Black and Blue, is in theaters October 25th. Nice. So that's what I did in my hiatus, and I did a lot of traveling. I, I felt like, like Anissa, it's good to have that balance. Yeah. Work was really, really great. I'm blessed to be doing it, but I, I needed to travel and to live. But I did my movie first, so that made me feel a little bit better. Uh, I wanted to tell you that I love the performance, and uh, you know what? I really appreciate that. As a fellow artist myself, I feel like I really admire that. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask you, what other stuff would you like to do performance-wise? What, what questions do you feel like you would like to be asked more? What's more stuff you want to talk about? Sort of. I 
think body image and loving ourselves the way we were created is something that's really, really important to me. Now they we see a lot of surgery and a lot of uh, filters and a lot of changing who we are. Uh, and, and I think it's a bunch of followers following followers. So I think uh, leadership is very important to talk about. And, um, being authentically who you are is very, very important to me. Um, and, and as far as what I want to do uh, creatively, um, comedy. Comedy is something that I really love. Um, I'm funny, y'all. <laughs> Um, a dream job would be, um, I know it's not around anymore, and it's very iconic and near and dear for Mark, and I want to do like laugh out loud comedy like that. Yeah, okay. so that's what's next for me. Saturday Night Live is next for me. Okay, that's Yeah, that's dream job. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you, guys.